Yeah, hi. Uh, this is uh, Sunil again from Hindran Engineering. So uh, we have previously seen the different solar topologies, namely the on-grid solar, the off-grid solar, and the hybrid solar. So today we are at a site in uh, JP Nagar, Bangalore, where we have done both the on-grid system and the off-grid system, or you can say even the hybrid system. So this is the site here. Uh, you can see the total 22 panels. Each of them are 450 watt peak each. And these are mono per uh, twin peak panels. And 14 panels here are connected to the micro inverter and that becomes the on-grid system. There are other eight panels which are connected to our Studer off-grid or the hybrid inverter, which powers the entire house for all the critical application throughout the day. So there is both the uh, on-grid system or a grid tie system and the hybrid system. So there are totally 22 panels, 14 panels into 450 making 6.3 kilowatt makes the on-grid system. Eight panels of 450 uh, which totals up to 3.6 kilowatt that makes the off-grid or the hybrid system. So uh, this is the roof layout and as you can see uh, this is not a very tall structure. However, it's designed in such a way that there are no shadow uh, uh, issues and also the skylight is getting enough light and uh, like most of the structures this is not uh, uh, this is non-invasive so that is we have not grouted or we have not done any anchorage on the roof so that uh, the waterproofing is is, is is maintained well so uh, we can come down and you know we can have a look at the uh, micro inverters and and the structure in detail So now we are like uh, below the structure. So unlike the previous videos, this is a relatively uh, smaller structure in terms of height. Generally we see elevated structure with walkway and some plants in, in the bottom. This is a pretty conventional structure. However, even here we have not done any cutting or any drilling or any kind of puncturing on the roof or we have not used any kind of ballast. The structure is designed so that this entire 22 panels is holding by its self weight and by tie beams. We have also taken the support of the uh, parapet wall or the grill so that there is uh, no cutting or no, no kind of disturbance to the roof thereby protecting the waterproofing. So as I told you this, this, this particular project has got 22 panels. Now on this side we have got all the micro inverters. These are all micro inverters of IQ7A uh, series. So totally we have got 14 inverters each connected to a, a, a 450 watt peak uh, panel. So these 14 inverters are actually divided into three phases. So red and uh, yellow has got five micros each and the blue has uh, four micro inverters. So totally 14 uh, inverters uh, totaling into 6.3 kilowatt makes the micro inverter component or the grid connected or the on grid component. Now we move to the other side. So uh, in 22, 14 are on grid and the other eight, which are again 450 watt peak monoperk panel, these eight panels are connected to the hybrid or the off grid inverter. As I told you, this entire house, 24 bar 7, 365 days is powered by this 3.6 kilowatt off grid or the hybrid system. The on grid system basically, uh, 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 exports the excess energy to the grid. All the critical loads like the TV, fridge, fan, pump, etc. are powered by exclusively this 3.6 kilowatt off grid or the hybrid system. So totally this is a 22 uh, panel system of 6.3 plus 3.6 kilowatt. Now we will get into the electrical room and look at the components, the protections and the batteries and we look at all the monitoring devices as well. So now we are at the electrical panel. So this is a small room here which houses the components, mainly the components for the hybrid or the off-grid system and we also have some components for the on-grid system as well. So you can see this is our, our panel. The eight panels there are made into four strings. 
So two panel makes one string. So the eight of them make one array. And this is our uh, array junction box and the other components here. So first I will go through the uh, hybrid or the off-grid system uh, components and then I will go to the micro-inverter components. So why I am saying off-grid is uh, we have not connected to the grid. See this is our hybrid inverter. I have made quite a few videos on hybrid system and working of hybrid system. Now we have used the same hybrid inverter but this is running like an off-grid inverter now because we have disconnected the grid. You can see here the AC input power is off. So AC input power is not connected. So this is now functioning like a off-grid inverter. This is a 4 kilowatt inverter. So before the power or the batteries are connected, this is our uh, junction box. Uh, you can come closer. So as I told you, we have got uh, eight panels, so four strings. So four, four fuses on the positive side, four fuses on the negative side, SPD and a MCB. So, and this also has the AC side, that is the input and the output of the AC side. I will come to that a little later. So this is the DC side. From here, this is our charge controller. We are using a, a VT80 uh, charge controller. And uh, our hybrid inverter or the off-grid inverter, we've got the fuses and the uh, earthing, earthing termination of the earthing bus bar. For this particular system, you can see here, we have got eight batteries, each of uh, 200 AH. So it's 12 volt, 200 AH in eight batteries. Four of them are connected in series here. Other four are here. So each of them is 48 volt and it's made parallel in this bus bar. You can see. There, is a, there are two fuses, positive side fuse, uh, negative side fuse. We are given two inputs so that there is no shorting or no uh, looping in the battery side. It is being made parallel here. And this is the off-grid inverter. I have, uh, in many videos I have shown how the hybrid inverter works, what are the advantages, what are the topologies. It's there in the link below. One can refer that. But in this particular site, this is used purely as an off-grid system. Why I say off-grid? The grid here is disconnected. You can come closer. Actually, the grid input is given here. This is the grid side. And this is the grid side and this is the output side. So on the grid side, we have kept the MCB off. You can see the MCB is off here. So grid side meter is also off. This is only the output side. Okay, if one wants, we can actually switch on the grid as well. So I will switch on the grid. There is no problem when you switch on the grid, but to protect the inverter and to actually ensure that you know the system runs without any issues, because most issues in the in the inverter comes because of grid fluctuations or some problem on the grid side. So we have kept the grid off here. In case in emergency, if it's required, we can always switch this on. See, this is the grid side. One can switch on. See, once if we switch on, the grid comes. The grid all, grid also starts. Uh, powering the uh, the inverter actually can receive the grid input as well so in a, in a few seconds the grid input will 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 come here so and the, and the and the grid can also charge the battery that's the whole idea of connecting the grid if required this can also export power back into the grid however for this particular side that feature is not enabled if in a, in, a, in about 30 40 seconds the the AC power will start reflecting on the, to the inverter. So this is about the hybrid or the off-grid side. So once, once we finish the video, we are going to switch off the uh, grid again. So now we will come to the hybrid, sorry, now we will come to the micro-inverter or the on-grid side. Basically, this is the same panel. The same panel has got uh, components for off-grid as well as the on-grid system. So basically, most of the things that's on the on the on the on grid side is on the inverter. Inverter is placed right below the solar panels. There are some protections uh, given here, and of course, the communication module is also here. So I will run it, run those components quickly one by one. So this is our uh, on grid system side protection and and the panel. 
On the left hand side, of course, we have got the communication uh, module for our hybrid system. That's our Studer system. Uh, this is our Studer system. That's the hybrid system. That communication module is also placed here. We have our N phase on grid system. For the on grid system, this is our, uh, our components. This is slightly different from the uh, other side, I will explain to you. As usual, the, we have made that 14 inverters into, uh, into three phases. So it's all a three phase system. Th the power from there actually gets into a relay. Uh, this is something new from N phase. This is introduced about a about couple of weeks back. Earlier, we used to have a phase coupler and uh, over voltage uh, relay and a contactor. We used to have these three components. The over voltage relay to actually basically prevent uh, excess voltage or high voltage getting into the inverter and the phase coupler for communication. So now everything is built into one device here. This is recently launched by uh, N phase. So any kind of high voltage or low voltage from the grid automatically the micro inverters are disconnected. And also the communication, the whatever the function the phase coupler was doing, now that also is inbuilt into the same relay. So, and again, we have, as usual, we have a search protection device, we have a MCB and we have a ELCB and we have our gateway, the kind of the heart or the brain of the system which controls the entire functioning of the system is through the gateway. I've explained the gateway in many other videos, the links are in the uh, description below. So, this is about our uh, electrical panel and the hybrid and the off-grid system. So, since it's an electrical panel housing so many batteries, it's important to have a fire extinguisher. And this is our battery bank here. We have got eight batteries, each of 200 AH, 12 volt battery. So, the battery system is a 12 volt, uh, sorry, the battery system is a 48 volt battery system. And slight elevation has been given so that there's no, even if there's a water logging, the batteries don't get, get affected here. And... Uh, and they've got, we have got some general instructions pasted on the panel. This is our standard practice. We do put these uh, instructions in most of our sites. This is about how to maintain or what are the precautions, what are the preventive maintenance that is required for to maintain the system. For example, cleaning it as often as possible, cleaning it during the non-sunshine uh, hours, non-peak sunshine hours, checking for terminations, checking for mechanical integrity. These instructions have been given here so that it is expected the, that the customer follows these instructions. So this is about uh, this particular site. This is in JP Nagar, uh, Bangalore. So thank you very much. Hope this was useful.